If you go to Iran today, many people manifest their admiration for the West in the most simple ways. Anecdotally, I recently spoke to a French couple who were recently in Iran. And of course, uh, uh, the husband was Iranian and the uh, wife was French. And they go there and they ride into a taxi. <coughs> And uh, the minute uh, the taxi driver hears uh, the lady speaking French, he responds in French just to show that he appreciates that culture. And he asks that lady when she gets back to Paris to say hello to a fellow taxi driver in France on behalf of him as an Iranian taxi driver. It's like saying, look, we want to be like you. We aspire to these values. We cannot do it now, but we are not disillusioned. What you are referring to is as if the principles of liberty and freedom is an alien concept in our part of the world. Long before Europe became civilized or America even existed, Cyrus the Great founded the first principles of human rights emanating from our country. So if these values don't exist in Iran today, but they in fact originated from old Persia, you cannot say that that society is alien to principle that are today the basis of Western civilization. And we've been robbed by it, by a theocracy. So of course, every country have their own model of democracy. Japanese democracy may be a slightly different than, let's say, I don't know, Australian democracy, as it would be Canadian democracy versus German democracy. But democracy is democracy. Secularism is secularism. In that sense, it is universal. There are certain sets of values that are not pertaining to a particular culture or mentality. These are basic human values that are observed everywhere or are solicited or sought everywhere, irrespective of your point of origin or culture. In that sense, I don't think that uh, uh, wishing to have a democratic order is necessarily a Western product that cannot be implemented in, a, in an Eastern country or an Eastern culture. Um, so in that sense, I think that um, Iranians are just as capable, uh, like many other countries in another part of the world. Um, and it's not a matter of understanding the concept. It is rather that they've never had the true opportunity to experience it. Now, what else can I say other than to put it to test? At the end of the day, the only way we will be sure of it is to give them that opportunity for the first time in their history, to have absolute opportunity to experience self-determination and cast their vote. Only then we will really know what it is that they want or whether they're capable of maintaining it. But the opportunity should be there. And in that sense, I think that a democratic process is what Iranian people want to have, even in determining their own outcome. So in that sense, it's not an alien concept. And it can be, in fact, implemented in, in, in Europe.